Top 10 things to do in Florida. Universal Studios. <laughs> this 26 year old theme park is basically there to inspire people to ride the movies. It's got eight different themed areas throughout the parks. And each one has different live shows, rides and attractions in each area. There is enough to see and do here for at least a couple of days, no question about it. Some of our favorite rides were Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man and A Day in the Park with Barney. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Barney? Yeah, it's one of the rides. Devil's Den, Natural Springs. Devil's Den is a natural spring located an hour and a half outside of Orlando. It was formed when a roof of a subterranean river collapsed thousands of years ago and gave us this beautiful wonder that we have today. There's four underwater passages that you can explore. Just make sure you have a flashlight when you go. Florida Everglades. One point five million acre of wetland that covers the south of Florida, full of unique wildlife and lots of floating grass. The slow moving river, although quite shallow, is breeding ground for a lot of interesting creatures. You're gonna find gators here. The Florida Keys. And today we're going under the sea. This is one of my favorite spots in the entire state. Um, it's a string of tiny little islands going from the top all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. They used to only be accessible by, by boat, but in the beginning of 1900s, they built a railway, which was swiftly destroyed in 1935 by a hurricane. Since the destruction of the railway connecting the islands in 1935, People have been building highways to connect the entire string of islands all the way to Key West, which is the furthest island. The longest bridge between the islands is a seven mile bridge, which is completed in the late 70s. The Keys were one of my favorite places in the entire state of Florida, just because it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. The place. Justice is taking us to Key West! <laughs> There's no other place in the world that I can think of where you have a highway that you're driving through the ocean. You've got the Atlantic on one side and you've got the Gulf of Mexico on the other side. Bridges that are about seven miles long and there's nothing around you but ocean. And that is the coolest thing, to be driving through the ocean like that. So definitely go. Kissimmee. Look at this thing. Only a stone's throw from Orlando, and more importantly, Disney World. This place is a hot spot for water parks, adventure parks, and any kind of thrilling experience that you're trying to go after. We got up close and personal with gators at a place called Gatorland. Oh, <laughs> oh my. And nightmares. There it is. Alright, guys, let's go. He's good. Alright, he's there. What will he do? That is the worst happy? prank you could ever do to me. <laughs> do I not am. leave me in here. Alright, see you, buddy. <laughs> Nicknamed the world's most famous beach and the spring break capital of the world, is located between Jacksonville and Orlando on the east coast of Florida. Right. Daytona has a wide array of activities that it's famous for. Um, obviously, water based activities like sailing, surfing, kayaking, canoeing, paddleboarding, and jet skiing. More notable is actually the NASCAR event, Daytona 500. So if water sports aren't really your thing, you can always watch a bunch of cars drive in a counterclockwise circle really, really fast for 500 miles. <laughs> That's it. That's it.
Miami. The most bustling, funnest party city, I like to say, in all of America. Miami is home to incredible beaches. The city is loaded with a lot of cultural influence from Cuba, so you find a lot of Latinos there mixed in with the tourists. If you're into having a good time, you gotta listen to Will Smith. Body in the city when the beat is all night on the beaches to the break it up. Just kidding. Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville is a vibrant city located in the northern region of Florida and houses the University of Florida. Due to its large student population, it's an exciting and eccentric place for you to go get a beer, see some live music, or even just see live music on the street. Gainesville was voted the best place to live and play in 2007 by National Geographic Adventure Magazine. So what, why we added Gainesville to the list is we were super drawn to it when we just arrived in this really cool town, was taken away by all the architecture and buildings and small bars that we hadn't recently seen inside of Florida. So that was the main reason why we liked it. All of the place in a good mood actually approaching us and saying, what are we doing? And just always very approachable and great to talk to. We like the people there. What's your name, man? Mohammed. I'm Riker. Pleasure. Hello, I'm Josh. Nice to meet you, Josh. I'm yeah. Like Gainesville, I like you. Let's make out. Morrison Springs. Morrison Springs is a 160 acre park, but made famous for its quarter mile springs that you can swim or scuba dive in. Now, whether you're scuba diving or just free diving with a mask and snorkel, there is a ton of cool stuff to see underwater. Sadly, when we went, uh, the recent rainfall had stirred up a lot of leaves, dirt, and debris, and there wasn't very much that we personally could see, but it was still a nice park and a nice swim nonetheless. <laughs> Wildlife. Since Florida is in tropical water, you always have all kinds of tropical fish and mammals such as dolphins and manta rays. It's really cool to see manta rays when they migrate because sometimes they jump out of the water and it's really exciting. Oh, there's one right in front of us. You got all kinds of things in the water. You got crocodiles and alligators, things that you don't, wouldn't really see anywhere else in the United States. All of it in one hot spot, which is Florida. You got a lot of pelicans. Ah! Oh and the pelicans are hungry and they're not afraid of you and they will take food directly out of your hands so watch out for the pelicans in the keys so if you liked our video and you have anything to add please put a comment below like the video share with your friends and please check out our other top 10 lists thanks for watching guys we like you guys Gainesville is a, I didn't say it right. Gainesville is a vibrant city that homes, uh, oh, <laughs> I can't say the same word. Gainesville. 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 Blah, 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 blah. That's good. Due to its strong student population, Gainesville is a hub for electric bars. Ah, oh, I can't, I'm, this is a great, like, I can't say.